Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to take a look at a surfacing example using uh, Z-level finish or advanced Z-level finish. This came in off of a thread uh, where the Bobcad user was trying to machine some of these angled surfaces here using Z-level finish and ran into some difficulties. So I wanted to cover some of the basics and see if I can't clear up some of the uh, some of the topics that deal with machining uh, this angled surface here. So we'll go ahead and uh, set up our job and set up our zero and it just blank out the the stock. So this is this is the surface that we want to machine. To machine a surface like that it's more like a vertical wall. We would use a z-level strategy. To begin with I'm just gonna select everything and then when it comes to the machining strategy if you're a mill standard user, you'd use Z-level finish. If you're a mill pro user, you can use advanced Z-level finish. Now, one of the things that uh, if you load in one of these strategies where you have multiple uh, routines loaded in under your current operations, know that you can always remove them by Xing them out and then you can pass them over from the available options list. So this way you can load in the strategy that you want to work with. Now. When we look at uh, some of our options here, to start with, I'm just going to compute the default fault settings here. And we'll see that the tool path is cutting the inside shapes. It's also cutting the outside shapes, but you'll notice that it's not cutting all the way down to the bottom. And the reason why that is, is because of one of the options for cutting extents. And you'll notice we have extents. Uh, part bottom and then 3D extents. If we choose part bottom, you'll notice that the tool path will cut all the way around the model going down to the bottom. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you don't want it to cut on the inside and the outside. And you only want to target just one of these uh, surfaces. So what you can do is use a boundary. In this case, I'm selecting the surface edges of the face that I want to machine. So I can select that boundary and recompute. Now what you'll notice is that all of a sudden your tool path no longer goes down to the bottom of the part. The reason why this is is because the boundary that you've chosen, the center of the tool by default goes to the boundary and there's not enough room between the surface and the boundary that you selected to allow it to go any further down. Now if you go in here and you adjust your parameters tab, uh, for bottom of job and even if you change this to a number that is further down the part you'll see that it will not extend further down the part. If we remove our boundary option and recompute now you'll see that the part bottom is picked up and you can see the tool path is cutting further down. So how do you handle this? Well there's a couple of things that you can do. You can edit the surface directly to extend it out in either direction so that you have room uh, to use a boundary and to cut uh, to cut the surface you want using a boundary like here let's uh, let's go back and uh, let me uh, let me choose a boundary again so we're gonna grab these edges here okay so we grab these edges we recompute now we're containing it so it, it doesn't have room to cut down to the bottom uh, what you can do is go into your options and for your boundary options, you have center a tool, you have tool inside and tool outside. So in this case, we're gonna to choose tool outside and we'll recompute. And now you can see that the tool path is going down to the part bottom because by allowing the tool to go outside the boundary, it's it has enough room to go down deeper, but it also has enough room to cut around on the side of the part. And you may not want the tool to start on the side of the part here, uh, it really it really just depends on the part itself so by using a boundary and adjusting your boundary options is what's going to allow you to get the the tool path to go around uh, in the direction that you're looking for and to cut uh, as as far as you're looking for now again let me uh, turn off the part bottom here and recompute so this, this is doing an okay job, but if you didn't want the tool to, to start on this edge here 
and you wanted it to just extend past the the sides of this surfaces here you would need to go in and extend those surfaces and I've created another video uh, which I'll put in the the notes that uh, or in the comments of this video that shows how to extend those surfaces. If you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.